This is the hidden OneNote tags feature that nobody seems to talk about or use. I'm gonna show you a hidden feature in Microsoft OneNote that's gonna take your organization and your meeting prep to another level. I think the number one thing people use OneNote for is for the to-dos and the tags. And I already did videos on the shortcuts here, but like pressing control one will create this to-do box and control three can also give you a question box. And you don't need to be the most organized person on OneNote just to be able to create these to-do boxes. Now let's say you've been using OneNote forever. It's a little disorganized, totally understand. And you have a bunch of those to-do boxes all over the place. Here's how you're going to congregate all those to-do tags together just to create one solid uniform to-do list. On your homepage, I want you to come up here to where your tags are, but go next to it where it says find tags. All of your tags are going to pull up over here. And I know it might be overwhelming if you're a little disorganized like this example. Right now I have this set to all of my notebooks, but maybe you just wanna look at the page you're on or just the notebook you're working in. So you can keep this all on that sidebar. That's how I've taught it before, but here's how you pull it into an actual functional to-do list. First, I would create a new page for this. I'm gonna mark it as to-do. I'm also adding a title over here. On this sidebar, I want you to hit create summary page. And you can see it literally just drops everything that's in that sidebar over here in an organized list. No matter how you're using Microsoft OneNote, I think everyone needs to be doing at the bare minimum this. And I really like this because when I'm in a work meeting, for example, I don't have to shift back and forth between the meeting notes I'm working on and then to my to-do list to add things there and go back and forth. Sometimes I feel like that distracts me and then I'm not paying attention to what they're saying in the meeting. I'm able to just fully focus on the meeting. I'm able to take notes from the meeting. Maybe I'm using Copilot to transcribe that meeting. Then after the meeting is over, I can do this summary page and all of my to-dos that happened during that meeting will just pull into a nice list for me. I also like doing this every single Monday, just have a clean list list of to-dos and again every single Friday just to see if there's anything that I missed throughout the week. I hope this helps. Follow for more and let me know what other digital organization tips you'd like to see next.